up you guys welcome back to my channel welcome back to another video today is going to be a full day of eating a what I eat in a day and I can't wait these are literally my favorite videos to make and you guys always love to watch them so I'm excited it's gonna be good it is breakfast time I've walked home so I've done a little bit of a morning routine and I'm about to make my breakfast so let me show you what's gonna go down okay so this is what we've got going on for breakfast I'm gonna be making my famous yogurt bowl so I'm gonna be using the phage total zero percent yogurt this is super good it's packed with protein it's really really yummy so I'm gonna be having some of this I've got some strawberries some blueberries this is going to be my granola which is this deliciously Ella original granola with raisins coconut and cinnamon it's so yummy I always just decant it into a cute jar because it sits on the side and then top it with some maple syrup this is just a humongous thing of maple syrup so I'm going to assemble all of that in there and I'll show you what it's going to look like in a sec so this is the end result. I literally just pile everything together in the bowl and mix it together. It tastes really, really yummy. And I pretty much have this every morning at the moment. I feel like I get asked all the time whether I eat the same things for breakfast, lunch, dinner, etc. Generally, I would say no when it comes to dinner, but breakfast for me, I get into a little bit of a groove. And particularly on the weekdays when I just wanna get started with work and I've got a busy day, it's just easy to grab something that I know is yummy, it's gonna fill me up, it's got a good amount of protein in it, and I just kind of flow with it. I do mix up the toppings from time to time, and now it's getting colder, I'll probably maybe switch to oats, because that's usually one of my go-tos. And then at the weekends, I'll maybe have something different, like some banana pancakes, maybe some avocado on toast with some eggs, some turkey bacon, that type of thing. So it does vary. I just feel like I've shown this breakfast so many times, but it's just because I'm in my flow with it at the moment and I'm just still really enjoying it. So I'm gonna have this, crack on with some work and I'll catch up with you guys at snack time. Okay, it is officially snack time. I've been busy filming some workouts this morning, so I have not had two seconds to like stop and have a snack, which is not like me whatsoever. So I'm gonna literally grab this quick snack and then head back to carry on with some filming. So I've got an apple. I love apples, like really, really cold and crispy and I will chop this up. So I'm gonna have an apple and then I've also just poured out a bowl of these crisps I've raved about these so many times, but they are so ridiculously nice We always get them in like a big box on Amazon because we just go through them so much in this house They are the sweet barbecue pop protein crisps. They are dairy free nut free vegan No artificial colors flavors or preservatives and ridiculously yummy So I'm literally gonna have a bowl of those my nice cold juicy green apple and that'll probably do me until lunchtime because it's already nearly lunchtime anyway So I'll catch up with you then. Okay, it is lunchtime. I I'm sorry, but I'm gonna have to make an omelette again. I know I made this in my vlog that I did a couple weeks ago, but I'm still obsessed. And that's the problem with me, honestly. When I find something that I really like, I just can't stop making it. So omelette is what is going down. Let me show you the ingredients. So one of the things that I actually love about omelettes is you can totally make them however you want. So depending on what you've got in the fridge in terms of fillings and what you fancy or anything. So I've got my main base of the omelette mix. So that's three whole eggs. And then I've also got 100 milliliters of milk. I just use regular skimmed milk because that's what we had in the fridge but you could totally use other milks if that's what you fancy then i've got some protein cheese again you could just use cheddar or parmesan but that's what we've got in the fridge some spinach some tomatoes and some chopped up turkey bacon and i'm going to start by cooking the base in the pan until that starts to get pretty much close to being done still a little bit runny on top and then I'll just add these toppings to it, fold it in half, let it cook for another minute or two, and then it'll be good to go. A lot of you actually asked me on Instagram how to do a good omelette. How do you kind of like flip it in the right way? Honestly, I'm not an omelette pro, and every time the camera comes out, I get serious stage fright that I'm gonna do it wrong. I think the main trick is making sure that it is cooked enough before you fold it, and also being considerate with your toppings. Your topping to base ratio needs needs to be right. If you put too many toppings on and the base is too thin, you haven't got enough like a eggy milk mixture on the bottom, it's not gonna hold the toppings. It's just gonna fall apart. That's where I think a lot of people go wrong and also it just not being ready to turn. So I'm sounding a bit like an omelet expert. I'm honestly not, but hopefully those tips help if you do also like omelets and you're just struggling to get that folding thing. I feel like I've jinxed it and now it's gonna fall apart, but let's go.
we've come out for one of our midday rituals, which is to get a coconut flat white. This is literally my favorite thing in the world. So we're in the car, we're going through the drive through That's what's happening. Hi, welcome to Costa. What can I get for you today? Hi there, can I have um, two um, flat whites, please, with coconut milk? Can we have one of those decaf, please? Cheers, mate. Cheers, drive on, mate. We're getting ready for you. It's literally peak excitement. Thanks very much for your help, mate. Cheers. Yeah, you too. This is literally the best coffee order in the world, a coconut flat white minus decaf because, you know, but yeah, this is literally delish. Okay, I'm just sat working away doing some bits with my one-to-one -one clients and I've just made myself a little snack. Just a little toast setup. So just two slices of white toast with some homemade jam and butter. That's all that's going down, nothing massively exciting. I was just really craving toast. It's gone super cold and rainy outside. Don't know if you saw that from the car but it is like chucking it down with rain. It's gray, it's cold, and I just fancy something warm and toast just hits the spot for me. So I'm gonna sit and eat this and crack on with a bit more work and then it will probably be dinner time. So I'll show you what's going down for dinner. Okay, I'm changed and into some comfies ready to make some dinner. Tonight we're making like a healthy mashup bolognese vibe thing. So let me show you what's going down. So we've got some lean 5% fat steak mints going on there, which is obviously gonna be our main protein sauce. Lots of veggies in the pan here. And then we've got pasta. I'm actually gonna be having this one, which has got added fiber in it. So it's kind of like a white pasta, but it says it's got triple the fiber. So this is really yummy. I'm gonna have this. And then we're gonna mix in this tomato and herb bolognese sauce and that is literally what's going to be going down pop some garlic bread in have a little bit of parmesan on there it's going to be yummy i literally love pasta in the winter i don't know why i'm exclusive to only having it in the winter i'm not but i feel like when it starts to get colder i love like hearty warm dinners like this so this is what's going down i keep getting a lot of questions actually over on instagram about what my kind of goal is with nutrition at the moment and what's like going on because i realized that I haven't actually done like a proper update on that for a while now, but now that I am getting back into things after obviously having to take four weeks off, I am just eating around maintenance to be honest. So eating around 2,200, 2,300, somewhere around that is like my happy maintenance point. One gram of protein per pound of body weight, that's the deal for me. And it literally is doing the trick. It's fueling my workouts, it's making me feel good. And that's it really, it's that simple. So let's get on with this bolognese and get on with some dinner. snack of the day is going to be a nice hot chocolate and a few squares of dark chocolate so this is the hot chocolate that i'm using it's literally just a sainsbury's own brand low calorie hot chocolate we normally get the cadbury's highlights one but this is what we've got in the house at the moment so that's what i'm having i'm just gonna mix it with some boiling water you can mix it with milk but to be honest with you i think it tastes totally fine with water so i'm gonna have it with some boiling water and then top it off with some of this light squirty cream just because you can't have chocolate hot chocolate without cream on top and then i'm just gonna have a few squares of this lint dark chocolate and that's gonna be it this is what it looks like when it's all made up it's literally so so yummy so i'm gonna take this and go and sit down and chill i hope you guys have enjoyed this video thank you so much for watching make sure you hit like and subscribe if you did enjoy it and i'll be back in a few days with the next video any requests hit me up down below as always come and say hey on instagram and i'll see you guys in the next video